Copper futures rose up to 5.7 per pound. You know, it, copper like silver is just, it's amazing to me because I, not that long ago, was having a conversation with a uh, one of the local um, dealers here in town. And we were talking about, hey, you think copper's going to get over five? And, you know, so here we are. We're, you know, well over $5 a pound for copper. So uh, partially pairing gains from Friday, a five-month high as global markets reacted to strong demand and supply constraints. Uh, the metal continues to benefit from global energy transition, contributing to its 42% annual gain. Um, and uh, as we mentioned with uh, silver, uh, there's a, you know, the AI buildup is really driving a lot of the copper pricing because you all know this, copper is the material of choice for moving electricity around. So if you're going to build a bunch of big data centers, well, you need a lot of copper to do that. Uh, so uh, the uh, renewable energy products, the AI data centers, the grid expansions, uh, infrastructure uh, rebuilds and such, uh, just consuming a lot of copper. So, and on top of that, we've had some copper mills around the world. I mean, copper mines around the world that have had some problems and that's adding to shortages of copper. So we've got this double whammy of increasing demand for copper, uh, potential shortages of primary copper or the copper that comes out of the mines. And all in all, that's a good thing for us in the scrap world because that means our scrap prices will continue to go up for copper. But it's still going up. And that's good for us in our scrapping world because that means our copper is going to continue to go up. Uh, and I have adjusted my recommendations accordingly over the last few weeks where I'm now recommending that you keep at least 20% of your good copper product behind while you sell your lower grade copper material and copper bearing material in order to meet cash flow requirements. So keep at least 20% of your bare bright, your number one copper, as a strategic deserve, reserve, if you can afford to do so, keep more of it. And then sell your number three and your number two insulated copper wire, your number three copper, um, so that you've got cash flow coming in, which gives you flexibility, right?